Okay, so this is the resin that I got. And I've tried it to make a different product. And it says it has no smell. There is no smell. So, let me pause this for a moment and get ready. Okay, so here I have my resin and my hardener. And I am letting it sit in some hot water that I warmed up in the microwave for a few minutes. And what that will do is help me eliminate bubbles. This resin also says that it's low on bubbles. And I think it does really well, but the heated resin, it's pretty awesome. See a couple bubbles in there? And look, it'll just dissipate. Isn't that cool? It only takes a few minutes. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so here we go. Now remember, resin does not like water. And I just made you dizzy. Sorry. So, I get the cup out of the hot water. And I wipe it off. Because I don't want it dripping into the resin or the hardener. And this resin is a one-on-one -on -one mix, which is nice. Look at how, look at how that pours. So now I have some air bubbles in it, but that's okay because after I mix it all together, I'm going to put it back in some hot water. And this is the hardener. See how easy that all poured? I do it like that when they're separate. That way it doesn't start activating. And see, now that they're mixed together, they're going to start activating. And you see it's getting a little bit cloudy. Now make sure you get the sides. Okay. Now I'm not going to make you watch me mix the whole thing, so I'm going to pause it. P -p -p pause. Come on, pause. Okay, so look at there. You want to make sure to scrape the bottom and get the sides to make sure it all gets mixed in well. I don't know if you can see it, but I don't see any more streams in there. It's nice and clear. This is a spoon. What is the spoon for? The spoon is for the makeup powder. Marblers. I love these guys.
Okay, so my mica powder. Mix that in really good. And because I'm doing dominoes, you want to make sure you can't see through it because you have your numbers on the other side. Imagine that playing dominoes and everybody can see through and pick which ones they want. But then that would be kind of like life. Everybody can see what they want, and it's your choice to go get it. I don't know. But look at that color. Isn't that nice? What I love also are these mats I got. Now these ones are plastic. Resin does not stick to plastic either. It doesn't stick to silicone. Look at that. And actually I don't see any bubbles so I'm not going to need to put this in more hot water. And I got these cups that came with the epoxy resin. I really like them because they have this little sharp point. And you can just pour. Now I'm not going to make you watch all of this, but I'll let you see. Oop, looks like you're going to be able to see through that. Well, we'll see. Okay. Pause. 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 Okay. So, I did not make a resin for all of my dominoes. I didn't make enough. Because I'm making not a set of six. Not a set of nine. I am making a set with double twelves. Is that awesome or what? You cannot. It's hard to find those. My mom and I had one before she passed away, and I could not find them for nothing. I still have our set, though. So this time what I did is I had the mica powder in the bottom already. Goes the hardener. Now we have some bubbles in this. So I'm probably going to need to put this back in hot water. Make sure you scrape the sides and always wear gloves. Um, I heard that using the ones called nitro are best. You know what? I messed up. I saw this done, but what I, what they did was mix the color with either the hardener or the epoxy first and then mix them together so it would be easier to tell when they mixed up. So this is my first time doing this. I am by means no expert. All right, so I'm not going to make you watch all of this. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, I got my dominoes made, but I had a little extra left over, so I added a little glow powder to it. Well, actually, 
I added green. And let's have these cute little keychains. Oh, I still have some left. Aren't those cute? Pause, pause, pause. All right, back again. So, I'm using the heat gun just to make sure I get all the bubbles. Force it around. And what I'm look, what I'm hoping for is that there's no air bubbles in the corners that I miss. Uh, one thing I did try with another project was spraying the mold with alcohol before I put the resin in, and that actually worked out pretty well. I probably should be doing this one. Huh? I filled them a little too much, so I'm going to have to break them apart. But that's okay, I used the Dremel tool. <laughs> but this is my first set of dominoes. <laughs> Ooh. Who am I a fan of? <laughs> Want to see my Michael Jackson dance move? There you go. Okay, pause, pause, pause. I also got a box to make the box for the dominoes. Isn't that cool? I can't wait till these are done and I can show you guys. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I am so excited and I'm going to use a white powder, a white mica for the dots on the dominoes. Oh. I'm so excited. Alright, I'll see you later. Pause, pause, pause. Now, I have seen, for the cleanup, I have seen that if you leave your, either your, well, I think it's better to use a plastic or silicone stick because when you use wooden sticks, it has air in it that gets mixed in with your epoxy too your epo uh, epoxy, but using a silicone stick in a plastic cup, I'll leave the, the rest in here, and when it dries, then I can just peel it out. Well, I'm going to have to let you go for now. Hit me up and tell me what you think. Pause! No, actually, I see you later. I see you later.